I wanted to smoke. So I'm gonna grind some up. I am alone in my house. <laughs> well, I have kids that are sick. I'm alone in my room. was Cheeto. I'll betcha. Yep, that was Cheeto. Hope y'all are having uh, a good day. Keeping it lively. Oh man, I hate it when the butt is dry. I really hate it. When the bud is so dry, that means it's going to smoke so fast and it's not going to do its job. Oh, so disappointing. It's like wicked disappointing. I hate that. Like, I genuinely, genuinely hate that. Hey, John. How you doing, lovey? I'm just talking about dry weed. <laughs> I did have some music on, but uh, I can't do both at the same time. So we're just gonna not listen to some music right now, which is fine. So I came home. Hey, girly. Hey, Jen. Oh, watching TV? Yeah. I don't get a chance to watch TV. I don't have cable. Well, not yet, anyway. But, uh, you know. Uh, Jen, I am working on getting all that stuff done for you. I apologize it's taken so long. Uh, if, you know, it's just been one hell after another, after another, after another. And it's, like, not even cool. It's... Not fun, so I just wanted to say it'll be there. I'll get it to you. I'll send it to you at some point. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, what's all right? Yay! It's all life. Music will get you in Instagram. It, it, jail. It can if you don't have, if they don't have the rights to put it on the air. Okay, if it's like, <coughs> you know, like a private song that you have on tape, DVD, CD, or something like that, and it doesn't get played. Like, you're like, oh, this is a song that never gets played. There's a reason why it doesn't get played. Um, I've never been in Instagram jail, knock on wood due to the policies and whatnot. Uh, no, scratch that. I did put out a story feed that got flagged because of the song Hold On by Wilson Phillips. It was not copyrighted for me to sing to. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, music will send you into jail if you don't have what they want you to, you know, that's why they put the music, um, uh, ability, I guess, on your stories because so many people were putting songs on there and they were getting dinged and they were getting pissed off. So they're like, oh, if we add stories and they pay us to do it, then it's good to go. The motherfucking, the fan is messing with me. And I, the reason I'm doing it, I have bifocals, so I can't really read. So, what does it say? Oh, well, yeah, that happens. That happens. It just, you know, it is what it is. And it's it sucks, but, um, you know, you kind of got to follow the rules. You know, so uh, if I do have music on, it tends to be a little... You got flagged for Taylor Swift. Wow. What song... From Taylor Swift, I thought, you know, 
whatever. Yeah. No, I uh, if I if I generally use any kind of music in the background, it's something um, maybe along the lines of more classical or Christmas or um, uh, holiday music. Happy second day of Hanukkah, by the way. Yay, day two. I wish I had my menorah. I lost it in the flood of the old apartment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did that with Hold On. I was singing Hold On and uh, by Wilson Phillips, and it got dinged. And I was like, you know, but here's the kicker part. On Instagram, it got dinged, and I had to delete all of the videos. However, I posted them to Facebook as well, and they did not get dinged. So what is the difference between it going onto Facebook and going onto Instagram? That is the question that you kind of got to you got to ask. Yeah. Yay. Are you really? Do you celebrate Hanukkah or do you celebrate Christmas? Um I grew up celebrating Christmas but um uh not experiencing but um acknowledging um Hanukkah and the story behind the Maccabees and whatnot. And I did pr I did did uh, do Passover a couple times, so different rules. Yes, I think everybody has a little bit of Jew in them. Uh, I happen to be about forty to forty-five percent Ashkenazi Jew. Um, I am second-generation American. My grandfather, uh, who was born in the late teens. Um, grew up in Hell's Kitchen, New York, um, in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And Christmas. Yeah. And, you know, he, he was really, really cool. When he married my grandmother, he knew that she celebrated Christmas. And, um, oh, you just found out you were Jewish. Fun. It is. It is really um, an excellent history. There's so much uh, love and wisdom that come uh, with Judaism. It's just so many blessings. I've 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 had, uh, and a lot of the teachings are just. I've always known I was Jewish. I've always known I was. I always. Well, I'm like I'm half Jewish. Well, actually, I'm Jewish and Irish, and a smidgen of Eastern European, which could be uh, Germany, Hungary, Poland, you know, over there in that general area. So uh, I always grew up knowing that I was at least half Jewish. Uh, my mother is Jewish and, uh, and her father uh, celebrated Christmas, but when he got a tree, he never ever called it a Christmas tree. In fact, for years, I didn't know it was a Christmas tree. We always called it a Hanukkah bush. So, there you go. If you don't want to put up a Christmas tree, you can put up a Hanukkah bush. Which I thought was just absolutely ingenious of my grandfather. And, and bless his heart for looking at my grandma and not making her do Hanukkah. They um, experienced Hanukkah, uh, put up a menorah. Um, as a like a decoration kind of thing, they didn't light the candles, and they they went and experienced Hanukkah with family, because other family, um, oh, you don't have to get us anything. Yeah, no, it it was it was uh, my grandfather was such a I didn't get the opportunity to meet this man because he died uh, before I was born. Oh, just a short two, three years before I was born. And I just, I kind of sit back and I wonder what life would have been like having that Jewish grandfather around 
all the time. I had my Jewish uncle and my grandfather, my, my, my grandfather that my, my grandmother married, the man that I knew as my grandfather was also Jewish. So he kept us connected to that culture. Um, but again, he let us, you know, celebrate Christmas. And again, we had the Hanukkah bush all the time. So I, I love, I love that idea, the Hanukkah bush. And you light it with candles and white light. And uh, Hanukkah is a festival of light. So it's it, like, just makes sense to have a Hanukkah bush. <laughs> but, oh, bright light. But there is also, uh, no, I don't think they turned around. Okay. Uh, but, <coughs> oh, <coughs> anyway, I always been, I've always felt connected to my Jewish side a little bit more than any other side of me. And, you know, my sister did the, um, DNA 23 and me, the DNA test. Um, Adam Sandler. Yep. Um, yeah, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> I always feel connected. Hey, Mary. Um, I always feel connected to my Jewish side. Very much so. I have always felt connected. Um, I have always felt a part of something with the, um, Jewish community uh, my name is not very, well, it's Stephanie. Stephanie is my biological name, uh, my first name, and Jet is what everybody calls me, because I have family members that are named Stephanie. In fact, I was partially named after, uh, a Holocaust survivor, her, my aunt, Stephanie, uh, generations ago, a couple generations ago, during the war, Second World War, she escaped the camp, okay? She escaped a concentration camp and was pregnant. Her friend looked at her, her friend was dying and said, you're leaving. And she said, yeah, she goes, take my son with you. So she said, okay. And that's what you did. You just, you grabbed children and you just escaped. You just left, you just dropped everything and left. You grabbed your babies, you got your babies. That. That was it. That was that with your bosoms, your babies. That was it. You just grabbed them and go. So she grabbed her pregnant belly. She was like eight or nine months pregnant. Like she was wicked pregnant. Uh, and this toddler, like one year old baby, had to give the baby opium to make sure he stayed asleep so she could escape. She finally ended up escaping and ended up in a forest and an abandoned castle, I believe in Poland. I'm not quite sure um, where exactly, but I do know that he wasn't the president at the time. And I don't care what, the, what this man did, and I get choked up thinking about this. I don't care what he did as a president, but Richard Nixon flew into a war zone and picked up my aunt and said, come to America and picked her up, her pregnant belly. And I believe she actually gave birth while escaping. She was, you know, sleep during the day, hunt at night kind of thing. And I think she actually gave birth. I'm not sure. Um, but it was just a miraculous story. And she raised that boy as if he were her own and she survived. That's my legacy. That's the blood that runs through me. That's the kind of power that I have. So I really hold on to that. And I think about that on a daily, daily basis. And I'm like, you know, if this chick can escape some freaking Nazi Jews, right? With somebody else's toddler and a pregnant ass belly, like wicked pregnant 
like we don't hide our pregnancies. We are not small people. We are actually very gigantic people. So like my family is. So and to have him come down in a helicopter and yeah and scoop her up and the babies and scoop her up and take her to America that it it was just an all and my mother got to sit with her she ended up in Southern California and my mother got to sit with her and have a conversation and say oh auntie auntie tell me tell me what's in my blood tell me what's going through my veins connect me to my family my people hello and you know we're just uh, the just very strong strong people and very determined people very determined the Jewish people are very determined and I am proud to be one uh, in, in almost every aspect of the word so to life And if you want to actually know more about Judaism, I recommend following Mayim Bialik from Big Bang Theory, Amy Farrah Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of wicked because she was Blossom and all this stuff, but she is like my go-to Jew. Does sound? I don't know. Sounds good to me because she's my go-to girl. If I have any questions, I send her a message or I go and watch her YouTube videos and I learn more in the four or five minutes that she puts out a video on YouTube than I can sitting at a, you know, in front of a rabbi because she makes it understandable. Just go check her out. Yeah, she's really, like, not only is she wicked smart, like, she is a neuroscientist. Okay. She took a break from acting to go to college to be a neuroscientist. And while she was finishing college, she was raising two children, nursing and potty training. Never once did she put her children in diapers. I, I don't understand how she did it, but she did it. It was like they were potty trained by six months. It was in, like the video is insane. Look her up on YouTube. It's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I lived in New York for a while. I felt very connected. I've always felt connected to New York. Even before uh, I found out my family was from New York, they would go, oh, what part of New York do you like? And I'm like, Manhattan? Are you kidding? downtown New York City like take me to New York City I got homesick I did I lived there for probably about three or four months and I lived there in the winter where it was the nastiest kind time of year and then it was spring and it was starting to get pretty I got wicked homesick like I I had to come home like it was bad it was so so bad I was losing weight my hair was falling out I was crying every night um, I, I my mental health was not pretty but I will definitely go back and visit all the time anytime I, I get I would love to go back and stand on Ellis Island where my grandmother, Sadie, left <laughs> during World War I. She left occupied Europe and came to America. And uh, that is a, actually a really cool story. Like, I have some really cool stories, but to hear this one, Sadie was betrothed to, um, oh, Oh, fun. There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so Sadie was betrothed to a, like, 50-some-year-old man. And that's what you did. You know, that's what you did in the early days. In the early years, 
a hundred so years ago, that's what you did. Oh my gosh, it's been a hundred years. Now that I think about it, it's been a hundred years. <sighs> wow. But she looked at her mom and she said, you know what? I ain't marrying who daddy thinks I'm going to marry. I ain't marrying him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to America. I'm going to set it off right, and I'm going to America. I'm going to marry me American. I'm going to have American babies. And they're going to be American. And uh, stick to the Jewish culture, because that's what you did. You didn't give up being Jewish to be American. Okay? We're not asking anybody to give up anything. Uh, but, so, she came over on the boat left some family behind, which that's another story. Her brother was a magnificent human being during the war. Um, and she got here, married, had children, had two boys. Maybe, might have, no, I know she had Grandpa Saul and Uncle Larry. Max, there was Max. Maybe Max was Grandpa. I don't know. But there was a Max. I don't know. I have some, like, really cool stories. <laughs> like, really cool stories about Sadie's brother. Oh, my gosh. He was, like, a war hero. And, uh, sorry. That's my text message. That's my bestie. Hey, bestie. She's a coming over. Cool. She's on her way. Hold on a second, y'all. My house. Uh, in. There you go. All right. All right. But I do. I have. Uh, oh, hi, Alex. I have a lot of uh, awesome escape stories from family members from the wars. Uh, World War One and World War Two, uh, fabulous stories that will give you encouragement and enlightenment. And I'll come back and uh, maybe tell you that a little tomorrow. I'm going to find out some more information. I'm going to call my mom and tell her to hook me up with some uh, go cook pizza and listen to some music, homie. But now I'm going to hit on my mom. Get some information about uh, some of my uh, Jewish family members and go on from there. I mean, how awesome is that? How awesome is that? All right. I'm going to head off here. My girlfriend is coming over. We're going to chill, hang out. I love you all, and I will hit you up uh, later. All right. Bye.